behind George and watching him make those plays? Yeah, it's it's pretty incredible. I think he just got going pretty early, and um, he's just so explosive and dynamic in between the holes, and he just has great vision, and um, what he does is incredible. Do you see defenses react differently to him than other backs? Are they, are they unable to get to him in certain ways? I just think, like I said, he's just got incredible vision, and he's able to just make a cut, and, you know, if they're – Chasing from the backside, he'll he'll he's just got great vision, you know. Take it through the back door, you know, or just you know keep going through the uh, front side. So he just does a great job making great decisions. What's the feeling like after this one? I mean, you're one and zero. You got the win, but you obviously didn't play perfect. I mean, yeah. Kind of survive in advance at this point. They were a tough team, you know. Um, you know, Tay, Tay and Static didn't play. You know, credit Bill and, and Davis for stepping up. Uh, Latrell stepping up. Um, so, you know, it was tough not having them, but those guys were ready to play, um, you know, and had made, made some great plays when they needed to. Um, but Wyoming, I credit Wyoming, they're really tough. Um, they're super disciplined. You know, I think even before the uh, the game, you know, I think, you know, their rankings and pass defense were really tough. Um, you know, obviously I wanted to test the waters there, but they, they were actually very, very tough, very disciplined. Um, 48's a great player. They got some great players on that side of the ball, so. You know, Riley Smith's kind of waited his opportunity yeah. to get involved in that passing game. So, to get, yeah. him, to get him a touchdown, another big catch tonight. Uh, maybe, I think his family was in town. Was I think so, yeah. I think his whole family was in town, yeah. So, um, yeah, Riley's one of my closest friends. Um, just for him to be able to get a touchdown, get some touches, be involved in the pass game, you know, get get him. You know, Tiny Hills had a little, little bit. Kurt had a nice uh, catch. So, um I just think it was so big for him, and I, I'm really happy for him to be able to get that. He deserves it, um, and then I think it's just a bonus for his family to be there. With, uh, now that you guys have ended it, is there much talk about you know, the fact that you guys need, need to end a losing streak on the this week at all? Uh, I mean, it was in the back of our minds. You know, I think uh, you know Coach Avi obviously played here. A lot of coaches have played here, so um, it was something that was kind of brought, brought up to us um, in the back of our minds at the same time. Um, you know, we, we just focus on operating and executing, um, but we all we all knew it. Um, you know, it's a place that you know, you know, people don't win a lot here, so uh, it's something that we talk about protecting the blue. Um, so for us to get a win, it was huge. How, much, how nice was it to walk into that locker room tonight? Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, man, they were tough. They're a tough team. You know, I credit Wyoming. Um, you know, and their head coach. They do a great job because you know, they're they're tough. They run the ball tough. They just. You know, Wyoming, you know, they're, they're tough. So it, it was great, you know, was that three in a row? So it, it was good to get a win. What was kind of the feeling like at halftime? How big was that field goal going into half? And it seemed like you guys kind of dominated, but you're only up 10 7. Yeah, no, um, you know, didn't get that fourth down. Um, it was huge just to get that field goal at the end of half. Um, you know, I think. We had a couple too many field goals there again. You know, we talked about that earlier in the week. But uh, you know, Jonah's a freaking hell of a kicker. So it's so great having him. You know, he's whatever he is, he's freaking amazing. So well, kind of along those lines, uh, Jonah almost seems to be enjoying himself with those three timeouts. You know, <laughs> he's attempting those field goals. What do you see from him? Um, is that something he enjoys? And yeah, you know, we kind of got a little thing going, but you know, between me and him, we kind of say this little mantra to each other all the time, um, you know, just for confidence. And um, you know, he's a special player, um, and uh, he's got a lot of pressure, that guy. So, you know, I credit him. Hey, what did you think of Dimitri's interception? How big was that? I think he should have scored. Dimitri should have scored, man. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, man, I, that was a game changer. That was a big time game changer. You know, we needed a turnover. We needed something to happen. Need a little bit of momentum and. You know, he's in the right place, right time, and uh, he should have scored a touchdown. So. You guys only gave up one sack tonight. I think only four or five penalties, no turnovers. Yeah. Compared to earlier in the season, what does that say about the growth of this offense? Yeah, um, I think it's huge. Uh, I think, you know, that holding call with OJ, you know, on that third down, that was a big one. Uh, I got a delay game earlier. That's a, you know, that's a bad job by me. Um, and then that sack, you know, was a naked at the end of the game. So, just for us to able to be able to communicate uh, protections and, and getting uh, you know six mans and max pros and, and just do a good job of, of communicating fronts because they they did some funky stuff um, with their you know front seven. So, um, I, I just think for the O line, it's just a great confidence booster and, and making sure we're on the same page, ID in the fronts and, and making sure we're we're getting the right protections. You always say you have like a look right down the, the barrel of when George runs. You also had one tonight when, when Andrew scored. I mean, that was, his, that was his only carry. Was it really? But it was, wow. it was impressive and it iced the game away. It, it did. Do you remember, what do you remember from that run? 
Uh, he did like a little spin or something, and they just kind of, you know, he's 250 or whatever he is, and just kind of they couldn't tackle him. He made a, you know, a couple guys. He broke a couple tackles there and just carried him in the end zone. So that's just what he does. He's a finisher. Uh, I don't know. I think is he at double digits now or? Close. He's close. Yeah, he's freaking. Whatever he's at, yeah, he's, he does a great job. He's a finisher. He's a bulldozer. Uh, Van Bully, so, yeah. Uh, I know you guys don't always love this question, but you are bowl eligible now. Is that kind of, you know, something to be excited about? I think so. I think so from, you know, we've had a tough schedule. We've had a tough road. Um, I think it's huge for us. Um, I, I, you know, I think it's huge. So that's what personally I think it is. You did get that sack kind of late in the fourth quarter. Yeah. I, what, what kind of goes through your mind like that? Because I mean, maybe, maybe old Hank might, might try to get rid of that thing. And yeah, I was thinking thing. about it. I don't know what, what kind of goes through your mind right there. Yeah, I was thinking about it. So it was a naked, so the guy is free. And you know, Coach Ball always talks about having an incredible fake. You know, so hopefully the guy comes down. We had hit the toss earlier. So it was a toss fake. And um, I don't know, I think it was 48. That guy's he's freaking good. So um, I turned around, the guy was in my face. And I was like, oh. I was thinking about throwing away, but. You know, maybe something crazy would happen, you know, again. But uh, I just figured I'd hold on to it. And, you know, there's like a minute left, so.